okay, I'm going to show you biblical self-defense. The Bible teaches self-defense. The thing of pacifism, this false doctrine of pacifism, is not biblical at all. It's against the Word of God. So basically, by the logic of these pacifists, I guess when someone attacks our family, tries to you know go after our kids, you know, robs our house, I guess we're not supposed to defend ourselves. We're supposed to just be passive. You know, if someone is violating our rights, you know, I guess we should just be passive. No, it's not what the Word of God teaches. The Word of God teaches self-defense. It doesn't teach being the aggressor. It teaches self-defense. The Bible says that defending the poor and the fatherless is commanded, and it is biblical. Psalms 82, 3 to 4. Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. Well, I guess I guess we shouldn't be doing that because we're supposed to be pacifistic and not defend anyone. We're supposed to just be peaceful and never fight back. You know, ridiculous. It's a false doctrine. We're supposed to defend the poor and the fatherless, not just let them let bad things happen to them. Next point, if a thief breaks into your house at night and you can't see him, you have a right to defend your house and your family from that. And you even have the right to kill the thief, too, if you can't see him, obviously, if you're not sure what's going on. Because chances are, if someone's breaking into your house, they're probably a thief. So, and you have a right to defend yourself. Exodus chapter 22, verses 2 to 3. If a thief be found breaking up, and be smitten that, smitten that he died, there shall no blood be shed for him. If the sun be risen upon him, there shall be blood shed for him, for he should make a full re re restitution. If he have nothing, then he shall be sold for his theft. So you see there, if it's if the sun is not risen up, if it's nighttime, if he's robbing your house at nighttime, and you smite him basically to defend yourself, defend your house, you're, get, you're innocent. I apologize, my cat is eating stuff in the background, I do apologize if you hear any background noise. But if a thief is breaking into your house at night time, you're not supposed to just let, let them do things and let them harm your family. No, you have a right to defend yourself. And by the way, this is actually a moral law. It's not a ceremonial law. Okay? Ceremonial laws are basically the Levitical laws for you know the Jews, and ceremonial laws don't apply for us today. They can be for instruction and righteousness in some cases, but they don't apply for us today. This is a law, a moral law. You have a right to defend yourself. That simple. Luke chapter 12, verse 39. And this know, that if the good man of the house had, had known what hour the thief would come, he would have watched and not have suffered his house to be broken through. Oh no, I guess we're supposed to let the thief come in and rob our house. No. You don't suffer the thief to come and rob your house and break in and just harm your family. You have a right to defend your family. Again, pacifism is an end times doctrine of devils. That simple. Last point, Jesus Christ commanded his disciples to be armed. Luke chapter 22, verse 36. Then said he unto them, But now he that hath a purse, let him take it, and likewise his scrip, and he that hath no sword, let him sell his garment and buy one. So gun control, you know, obviously we don't have swords today, but in a modern setting, gun control is a sin. You know, if you don't have a sword, in this case, a modern day setting would be a gun, sell your garment and buy one. You're commanded to own a weapon. They, they, Jesus Christ commanded his apostles, his disciples, to own a weapon. So gun control is actually a sin, like I mentioned before. Because you're not supposed to take away the guns, take away the weapons. It's a sin. Jesus Christ taught self-defense. So again, just to recap, defending the poor and the fatherless is commanded. Psalms 82, 3-4. If a thief breaks into your house, you have a right to defend your house. That simple. And Jesus Christ commanded his disciples to be armed, as like in the verse we read recently. Self-defense is scriptural, and there is a biblical cause for self-defense. If someone's harming your family, trying to rape your wife or whatever, you can, you can defend yourself. Okay? Now, there are cases where you should not fight back, and obviously don't be the aggressor. It's that simple. But you're not supposed to just be pacifistic and just not, not defend your family. If you're the man of the house, you, you have a job to defend your family. That simple. Pacifism, again, is an end times doctrine of devils. So don't be deceived. There are plenty of heresies in this end times. Uh, pacifism is one of them. End times doctrine of devils. Don't be deceived. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.